All right, so now that we have a basic understanding of the GUI and we have our drum kit selected, we could jump into the grooves panel where the magic really starts to happen. Using the song creator makes things really easy, but we don't need to. We can always jump in and start editing MIDI ourselves and the flexibility inside of the grooves panel is mind boggling. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are inside of the grooves panel. Now this is where the magic really starts to happen. This is where we start playing the drums that we had selected in the drums panel. There is a really intuitive filtering system here at the top. If we want any sort of style of MIDI note or groove, we've got blues, funk, jazz, Latin, metal, soul, and that's gonna change depending on what type of library you're using. Again, I only have the Superior Drummer 3 library, but there are plenty of packs out there for Superior Drummer that I highly suggest you checking out if you're looking for more genre-specific stuff that isn't available in the library. But the Superior Drummer 3 library is immense. As I said in the beginning of the video, there's over 1,500 professionally sculpted MIDI grooves. That's a lot. Any of them can be auditioned. They can be sorted by family, by name, intensity, power hand, time signature, the number of bars they have, the tempo. You can audition them. You can favorite them. Really straightforward kind of browser stuff here. But there are two things that really stick out inside of the grooves panel here. One is the tap to find. Tap to find allows you to play your MIDI controller or use your mouse even to click in a drum beat. And Superior Drummer 3 will try to find a similar MIDI groove inside of the program itself. That's crazy. Another thing is the song creator. And let me show you how easy it is to make a song using Superior Drummer 3. Click the song creator. Got it right here. And let's just choose, let's say, a funk style verse. Let's go ahead and audition something. And let's say I really like that. I'm gonna click and drag it to the MIDI drop zone right here. And look what's happened here. Now I have the intros, the verses, the pre-choruses, choruses, bridges, fills, and the endings lined out real pretty for me. I can audition any of them and they're all gonna be surrendered around that funky 16th 102 BPM drum clip that I auditioned before. So <laughs> it's really easy to start making a song here. Let's go ahead and choose an intro. Perfect. Go ahead, drop it in there. And let's say I don't want it to be that long. I want it to be kind of quick. I can just bring it down over here like this. Perfect. Now let's jump right into a verse. Boom. Awesome. We've got our time signature control here. We can also change the tempo if we wanted to. As we discovered before, it's actually originally at 102. We're not too far off, so we can leave it. But let's say we're at chorus time. We can drop a pre-chorus right there and then go ahead and drop a chorus. Each one of them are color-coded, makes things really simple. And again, let's say I wanted the pre-chorus to be a little bit shorter. Boom. So look, at we are well on our way to making a full track and we've done so very quickly and very easily. And obviously we can come in and do further manipulation if we wanted to. We can right click, MIDI editor, grid editor, and then we could come in and move any of these MIDI clips that we want. Full control, velocity control down here. We can edit the playing style. We can decide which hand is hitting what, if it's gonna be an open hit, if it's gonna be a closed hit, what's gonna be hitting, is it gonna be a brush, is it gonna be a stick? Full control, there's no reason you can't get exactly what you want using Superior Drummer 3. So that's the grooves panel. Up next, the mixer.